Hello everyone and welcome back to Arid Graphics. My name is Damlala. In today's tutorial, I'll be taking you through how to design this minimalistic business card design in Illustrator and how to set it up and prepare it for print. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. So we need to set up our hardboard size. So the standard size business card design or standard business card size is 3.5 by 2 inches and I'm going to set my hardboard to 2 which is for the front and the back and then we're going to be using a bleed of 0 0.1181 inches and then the advanced options you need to make sure your color mode is set to CMYK and then your raster effect is set to 300 ppi so i'm going to hit create this is what you have you can see the bleeds so the next thing i want to set up is my guide so i'm going to come to the rectangle tool and then i'm going to type in three points two zero by 1.20 no 1.70 sorry so uh it has no feel no stroke as you can see right here so i'm going to copy this and place it on the artboard by holding down alt key click and drag So I have it on both of my artboards now. So I'm going to right click and then go to make guides. And then I'm going to right click again so I can lock the guides to prevent them from moving while designing. So I'll lock them in place so now they cannot move. So we're going to start designing. When designing, you need to start your designs from the bleed. So I'm going to bring in this color uh, right here and then like so and then bring this in sorry right here okay like so and then I'm going to bring in logo icon, place it right here, increase it holding down shift and clicking and drag, click and drag to increase the size. Then I'm going to center it to the middle of the artboard, uh, increase this a bit. When designing, make sure you do not exceed anything you're putting on the hardboard or on the business card is not going to exceed these guides this as this serves as safe zone to prevent things you information on the business card from being cut out during the print process so um i'm going to type in my name so I'm going to be using uh, uh, okay. So change the color to white. I'm going to change the font to Mont Serrat. Let's use um, bold. I'm going to reduce the size right here. And, um, so I'm going to copy this holding down the Alt key, click and drag. I'm going to use this for um, creative designer. And uh, Reduce this to a medium, 
and then we choose the size like so and then I'm going to draw a rectangle from the bleed remember always design from the bleed so right here I need to check if all my text are aligned so I'm going to bring up the ruler with Control R so I can drag in my guides so you just come to your ruler and drag you drag in a guide and then to check if your designs are aligned so I'm going to drag this in I need the line to be a bit more thinner and uh, use this a bit more and reduce this a bit more that's too tiny what's going on I'm going to take off the snap to pixels it's making things a bit okay so I'm going to change the color using the eyedropper tool eye on your keyboard and you can just sample any color if you want so I'm going to sample this okay so um, next thing also in I want to bring in my contact details so I'm going to drag this alt click and drag to copy I'm going to reduce the size and change this to then I'm going to type in no before I do that I want to copy this alt click and drag to copy and then ctrl D to repeat the same process this is the fastest way to duplicate um, stuffs or components in Illustrator and to give them this um, symmetric um, feel or look to make them look symmetric. So if I use Ctrl D, I duplicate once. It's going to have the same distance as the du first duplicate I made. So I'm going to change this text to, let's say this will go for my phone number. 7069738. Okay. 07. Yeah, I almost forgot my phone number. Sorry. So um, this will go for my website, www.artgraphics.com. And this will go for the email, info at artgraphics.com. So after doing that, I think we are good. Let me reduce the size a bit more. Yeah, I think this is okay. Um, so the front design is done. So the back design, I'm going to use uh, this color. So I'm just going to duplicate it and just place it right here. Using the Alt, click and drag. Then you know, design from the blades, always remember. So I'm just going to bring in this logo. And then, right now, the logo is at the back of the rectangle. So if I want to bring it to the front, I just click Control, Shift, and close bracket. So it's now in front. The very fast shortcut to arrange components on the artboard. Or you right click and go to arrange and then click on bring to the front. So I'm going to resize this a bit, make it a bit big and then center it in the middle. So basically we're done with our business card design. 
So the next thing to do now is to prepare it and um, set it up for print. So now, all you just need to do is you go to your file. Once you're done with your business card design, go to your file. You go to save a copy. And then let me just save this right here. You choose PDFs. So let me go to just save this, save this the documents. You choose um, PDF. And then you give it a name, let's so say business card design. And then you click on save. So the first thing you need to do when you see this dialog box is you need to go to and click I call it to print. So after doing that, all you need to do, I think all the settings are fine. You go to your marks and bleeds. So you need to check the trim marks. You need to check the trim marks. And then you need to check the use document split settings. You can also check registration mark, color bars, page information, not. but trim marks is fine. So after doing that, you just click on save PDF. So once that it's saved, this is how it's going to look. You can see these trim marks. So it's, this is telling the printer, this line is where the business card starts from. And then this line is where you do need to exceed this line when you're cutting the card. And if you can see, we have our text very nicely placed and far away from the, um, the trim section. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.